DWP Universal Credit, everything you need to know about new working rules. Hello, wonderful viewers. Today, we're shedding light on a crucial topic that impacts many lives, DWP Universal Credit. Join us as we explore everything you need to know about the new working rules that could potentially affect your financial situation. Whether you're already familiar with Universal Credit or just starting to navigate its complexities, this video is for you. Don't forget to show your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel for more insightful updates, and dropping a comment to share your thoughts or questions. Let's get started on this informative journey together. The Department for Work and Pensions DWP, introduced new working rules for Universal Credit this week and around 180,000 people will be affected by them. Universal Credit is one of the most common benefits in the UK with over 6 million people claiming it. You can claim Universal Credit from the DWP if you are unemployed or you're working but on a low income but there are rules you need to follow and if you break them, you could lose your benefit payments. This week, new working rules were introduced which will see around 180,000 people have to work more to keep their benefits. It is also the second working rule change to be introduced by the government this year. To help, here we explain everything you need to know about Universal Credit and its new working rules. How much does Universal Credit pay? There is no set level for how much money you get every month what you get is dependent on your personal circumstances which include things like age, whether you live in a couple, and whether you have children. However, there is a base rate for Universal Credit and that's called the Standard Allowance. Then if you're eligible, you can get additional payments on top of this to support other costs. These are all applied to give your total figure before any deductions are then made based on whether you work, have savings, and other measures. As of April 2024, the standard allowance sits at, single under 25, £311.68 per month, single 25 or over, £393.45 per month, joint claimants both under 25, £489.23 per month, Joint claimants, one or both 25 over, and 17 times the attempts. If you have children, you can claim more and the rate varies depending on how many children you have. If you have a disabled child, then you are also eligible for added support. Can you work when claiming universal credit? You can claim universal credit from the DWP if you are on a low income or unemployed. This means you can be working and claim universal credit at the same time. However, the more you earn through work, the less universal credit you receive. How much your benefit is reduced is down to the taper rate. The taper rate is currently 55% which means 55p is deducted from your maximum universal credit payment for every £1 you earn. However, some universal credit claimants can be given a work allowance which sets how much they can earn through work before their universal credit is cut. However, it is normally only available to those who have responsibility for a child or have a disability or health condition that affects their ability to work. In the same vein as normal, the universal credit payment is cut by 55p for every £1 earned over the work allowance. There are two rates and which one you get depends on whether you receive help with housing costs, either as part of your universal credit payment or through housing benefits, higher work allowance no housing amount with one or more dependent children or limited capability for work, £673 up from £631, lower work allowance who have help with housing costs with one or more dependent children or limited capability for work, £404 up from £379. What are the universal credit work rules? In regard to working, your universal credit claim will be placed into either one of four work activity groups and this highlights what you should be doing to keep your universal credit claim. According to Citizens Advice, these include, no work-related requirements group you don't have to do anything to prepare or look for work, work-focused interview group you have to go to regular meetings with your work coach, work preparation group you have to meet your work coach regularly and also prepare for work, this includes things like writing a CV and going on training or work experience, all work-related activity group you have to do all you can to find a job or earn more. This includes looking for jobs, applying for jobs and going to interviews. For people who are fit to work, the DWP places claimants into groups known as Light Touch and Intensive Work Search, and the government's administrative earnings threshold, AET, determines which group a person is placed into. It is based on how much they earn per calendar month with those above the threshold falling within the Light Touch group. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And please don't forget like, share and comment.